guys welcome back so today I thought I'd do a bit of a different video I was thinking about all of my products and going through my stash and then I saw a couple of videos from people saying what they wouldn't repurchase from their stash so I thought that would be a good video um, to talk about because lots of people talk about what they would repurchase but they don't talk about what they wouldn't repurchase and the reasons why. I don't want to be negative, all of these products that I'm about to tell you about are great products and I'm sure there are people out there that would repurchase them time and time again, it's just that personally for me I either don't get enough use out of them or I found a cheaper alternative. So I hope you're all well and comfy and let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is the Maybelline Colour Tattoos. These are stunning products if you like your eye makeup. I don't wear enough eye makeup to be able to justify buying these again. Um, basically, I am an eyeliner and lipstick girl. I always have been and I love my blushes, but my eyeshadow, I only really wear smoky eyes when I'm going out. And I don't wear like eyeshadow all the time during the day either. Um, I just don't use them. I have the On and On Bronze Eternal Gold, and then I can't remember the name of this taupey colour, but the only one that I've really used is the taupe, um, and that was for work once. And basically, the others I've just messed around with, maybe swatched a couple of times, or I've used them in like sort of oh I'll try out this trend but I've never worn them out so there's no point in having them you know they're perfectly pigmented they last such a long time they are beautiful products and for 4.99 you can't turn your nose up at them but I don't I don't use them so there's no point in owning something that I don't use so unfortunately I won't be repurchasing these the next thing is the Clinique chubby stick now, I'm, I know there are so many like fans of the Clinique Chubby Stick and they are wonderful products. I have this one which I bought off eBay for £6 but they actually retail at £16. They're unscented, like all Clinique products, you know, they're balmy, they're nice on the, nice on the lips, you know, they're just stunning. This one is called Mega Melon and this is the colour that I use, like I bought and I used it over the summer. So this colour here, sorry about that swatch there, that was from Boots earlier. Um, this colour here, and it is a lovely, lovely colour. But I, I don't see the point in buying a £16 lip balm type thing, crayon, when you can buy the Revlon ones, which are just as good for half the price. In fact, I think they're a penny less than half the price because it's £7.99. This one's in Rendezvous, it's a coral orange that I used over the summer and it is gorgeous. Um, yeah, and I mean, if I take the tops off, just look at the amount of product, like more, that you get with the Revlon than you do with the Chubby Stick. You get a good, like, half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch more for less money. Um, so, I don't see the point in spending £16 on this when I can spend £7.99 on this. So I'll be sticking to the Revlon ones and unfortunately leaving the chubby stick behind. Like I say, these are lovely and I'm sure the chubby stick intents which are going to be out this Christmas are beautiful but I would rather pay for this than this. So I'm not going to be buying one of them. Another good dupe that I found which means that I'm not going to be buying any more of the higher end version are the MAC tinted lip conditioners. These are £11 each. £11 for what is essentially a lip balm, um, a coloured lip balm. They smell like vanilla, they go on lovely, they condition the lips, they're very very nice, they have an SPF 15, you know they're great, they're really good. These are exactly the same, <laughs> sorry I get my hair off when I find that I've been like ripped off by something. These are exactly the same as the sleek pout polishes. Exactly the same. Obviously, apart from the packaging and the name and a couple of ingredients, I did actually match the ingredients list and guess what? They're practically identical. And these are £4.29 and come in a wider variety of colours than these that are £11 and come in, I think, just these two colours. Or there's another colour but it was sold out. Buy these not these i will never repurchase these again because i feel like i was completely ripped off so these are brilliant love sleek 
Sleek are a great makeup brand. Their lip products are fantastic. Their blushes are fantastic. Just buy these. Don't buy these. <laughs> buy these. Or at least I'm going to be buying these and not these. So that's that. Another thing that I decided I'm never going to repurchase, in fact I didn't really purchase it in the first place, it was a sample from Glossy Box, is the HD Brow Palette in BAMP. Now, I, when I received this, I was like, wow, HD brows are amazing. And then I've had time to think about it and I was like, it's just an eyeshadow. Uh, it's not even like a proper kit, it doesn't come with a gel, it doesn't come with like grooming it came with two little brushes which have subsequently gone missing i don't know where and then when i dropped it all the black called carbon has smashed and gone everywhere and it's it's sort of gone into the well i like to call it here and i only ever use this color here i only ever use that color so for like 19 pounds i think this was originally i use one color there's no point i might as well just go to the natural collection and boots and pick up something similar for £1.69. So that's uh, that's never going to be repurchased. It was a great sample. I'm glad I've tried it. You know, I can say I've tried HD brows, but generally speaking, this is just not something I'm going to repurchase because I think it's a waste of money. The next thing is something I can't repurchase purely because the line's been discontinued and if I could repurchase it I would. It is the Benefit Boxed Blusher in Throb. Throb! It's got, I can't roll my R's but it's like a rolling R. And it's this beautiful pink colour. It really is a stunning pink colour. It's like that. Oh, can you see? It's like, it's quite chalky actually um, for a blush. It is quite chalky. There we go swatch duped there it's that pink there and it's lovely and it comes with a little little applicator and i've had this years now um <coughs> excuse me and i'm halfway through the box and it's a lovely color especially for summer it's such a dusky pink color fantastic can't repurchase it because i think it's been discontinued which is unfortunate benefit please bring it back if you're watching this which i'm sure you probably are but if you're watching this please bring it back because this would be a sellout because it's a gorgeous color right next thing that i definitely won't be repurchasing anytime soon because i'm probably never going to use it at all ever again is the master drama coal liner by maybelline new york and this is purple why do i have a purple eyeliner i'm never going to use it I think I used it once for like this sort of purple thing that I did on the blog and then I've never used it after that, ever, ever, ever. Um, this one's called Deep Purple. The Maybelline eyeliners are like the Coral eyeliners. I tend to find a really, really nice, they're soft, they go on beautifully, they smudge easily, like if you want the smudgy look, they're great. However, I am never going to wear purple on my eyes. <laughs> So why I thought this was a good idea is beyond me and it was beyond Dave as well when he came home to find me wearing it once and he was like please take that off because it looks awful. <laughs> so yeah great what a waste of money. Um, and then I've got two more products I think I haven't spoken about yet. The first one is the Estee Lauder Body Performance Mani Smoothing Manicure and Pedicure Treatment. I got this as a gift. I think this retails for something like £15. It might be a little bit more. Um, and it is basically just a manicure pedicure treatment. Like a gel that you can smooth into your feet and your hands. And um, apparently it softens them. I liked it, don't get me wrong. But it is slightly greasy. So I don't use it on my hands. I only use it on my feet. And basically i've got a heel genius by soap and glory i don't really need to have like three different foot products um and this one is just too expensive to justify buying again really um yeah and it does soften the feet it does what it says on the tin but it's nothing special it's just it's just estee lauder which as much as i love estee lauder it's like one of my favorite brands in the world um it's just not justifiable buying another one of these because i there's no point. And then the last thing I'm going to talk to you about is the Benefit Realness of Concealness Kit. Um, the packaging is so cute. It's easy to 
carry around with you. It's got a little mirror here so you can touch upon the go. It contains five different products, lemonade, boing concealer, uh, the lip plump, the Oolah lift and the high beam. The only two products I have ever really bothered to use in this are the high beam and the boing concealer. So even though I got this as a freebie from Elle magazine because I subscribed, I wouldn't repurchase it because I didn't see the point in paying, I think it's £25 around to only use two products when you might as well just buy them full price and use them anyway. Um, there's no point. I mean, it's. I'm sure some people would love this. They'd use it all the time, they'd use everything in it, but I don't. So I don't see the point in buying it again. So that was it really. There are a few more that I could have added into this video and then I thought about it and I'd be like, whoa, Helen, it's gonna be like way too long. So um, there might be a second part coming up in the near future, you don't know. And um, look out for that if it is about. <laughs> Cause I can't decide if it will be or not yet. So I hope you all have fantastic days. Enjoy your beauty products. What don't you want to repurchase? Let me know in the comments or on my blog beautifully superfluous.blogspot.co.uk man that's a gobful <laughs> and um, I will see you all very soon bye